Hi, everyone. This is Brother John. Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today, I'll be sharing with us the message which I've titled, The Promises of God. The Promises of God. Every word of God spoken to us is a promise. Every word of God, word of prophecy given to us is a promise. Our Bible is full of promises of God. So let me start with the meaning of promise. What is a promise? What is the meaning of promise? According to Web Merriam Webster Dictionary, it's a promise is a statement or declaration telling someone that you will definitely do something or that something will definitely happen in the future. What is a promise? A legally binding declaration that gives the person to whom it is made a right to expect what has been promised. So what is a promise? A promise is a reason for you to express something. Promise is a vow, is a pledge and hold, or even your word. The book of Ecclesiastes 5.5 5 says that say, it is better not to make a vow. It is better not to make a promise than to make one and break it, than to make one and not fulfill it. That is talking about the power of promise. In other words, your Bible, my Bible, the word of God given to us is a promise. A promise between God and his children. As a child of God, we have salvation rights to claim any of those promises. We have the right to claim them. We, and another thing about having the right is that we may have the right to claim any of the promises in our Bible. But receiving any of those promises comes with responsibilities. And the word of God is full of promises that not really possible to count. I mean, some people in the past have tried to count the number of promises in the Bible. And they came up with about 3,000. They said there are 3,000 promises in our Bible. Later, another group of people came up with about 7,000. They said there are about 7,000 promises of God in the Bible. And recently, someone came up with about 8,000 promises with full explanation, explaining each of those promises. That is wonderful. But to me, I mean, personally, I believe the Bible has over 10,000 promises. I mean, depending on individual challenges. Our challenges, the problems individuals are facing, or what we are going through today, will determine our discovery of those promises in our Bible. Some people have discovered a lot of God's promises in the book of Isaiah. But there are also great promises in the book of Psalm. There are great promises in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Jeremiah, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Malachi, Romans, Ephesians, and so on. Amen. So it all depends on individual life challenges or life problems. Promise is an assurance that our request will be granted by God. The book of Philippians, Philippians 4, 6 says, I say, do not be anxious about anything, but instead say, pray about everything. In everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. It is a promise telling you to pray about everything. And in everything, by prayer, that's your prayer, 